All right, we're going to do another John Prine song now. This is one of John's most unusual songs, and <laughs> that's probably what makes it one of my favorite songs. And I'm in good company because um, I hear Bob Dylan says that this is his favorite John Prine song also. Um, so when I was a kid, like John, I grew up in the northern, or I grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago. He grew up on the western suburbs of Chicago. But uh, we used to drive about an hour north a little west. My uh, dad and my grandfather and I, my grandfather built a pontoon boat called the Hootman. And uh, I remember the first time we took it out, we drove up near the Wisconsin border, just over the Wisconsin border, and uh, drove it around, make sure it didn't sink. <laughs> and uh, it, was, uh, it was on a little lake. And uh, that lake, like 40 years later, I hear this song, and there's the lake in John Prine's song. Um, so it, it always has held a, an interesting meaning to me. This is a really unusual song because it tells like three different stories. The first story is an Indian legend about these two lakes because um, it was a, they were called the Twin Lakes, and it was uh, how they got their name. The second verse kind of starts at one of the lakes, but then he just goes completely different and goes into this relationship he had with a girl. And then later in the same verse, um, it talks about the relationship falling apart. Then in the third verse, again, we both grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, and we always knew as a kid growing up in the late 50s, early 60s, that Chicago could be a dangerous place. You had to kind of be careful where you went. But we lived in the suburbs, and the suburbs were like, you know, Father Knows Best and Leave It to Beaver. They were just totally safe until like the mid-1960s, and all of a sudden there were these terrible crimes that happened right there in the suburbs, you know, by the places that we would drive by and places that I'd go park with a girl, you know. It was like, whoa, how did that happen? So he, he writes these three totally different stories, and somehow as only John Prine can do, with a little bit of humor too, manages to connect all three of these disparate topics in the last, uh, at the end of the last verse. So here we go. John Prine, one of my favorites. Lake Marie. <laughs> We were standing, standing by peaceful waters, standing by peaceful waters. the Illinois-Wisconsin border, there was this Indian tribe. They found two babies in the woods, white babies. They named one of them Elizabeth. She was the fairer of the two, while the smaller and more fragile one they named Marie. Having never seen white girls before and living on the two lakes known as the Twin Lakes, they named the larger and more beautiful lake, Lake Elizabeth. And thus the smaller lake was hidden from the highway. It became known forever as Lake Marie. We were standing, standing by peaceful waters. Standing by peaceful waters. talking to this girl who was standing there with her back turned to Lake Marie. The wind was blowing, especially through her hair. There was four Italian sausages on the outdoor grill, and man, they was sizzling. 
Years later, we found ourselves in Canada trying to save our marriage and perhaps catch a few fish, whichever came first. That night, she fell asleep in my arms. I'm on the two the luai luai. Oh, baby, we gotta go. We were standing. Standing by peaceful waters. Standing by peaceful waters. Oh, I hope. Now the dogs, they were barking as the cars were parking and the lone sharks were sharking and the narcs, they were narking. Practically everybody was there in the parking lot by the forest preserve. The police had found two bodies, named naked bodies. Their face had been horribly disfigured by some sharp object. I saw it on the news, the TV news black and white video. You know what blood looks like in a black and white video? Shadows. Shadows. That's what it looks like. All of the love we shared between her and me was shadows. Slammed on the shores of Lake Marie. Marie. Was standing, standing by peaceful waters, standing by peaceful waters. Oh, I hope, I hope. Peaceful waters, standing by peaceful waters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby, we gotta go now.